we tend to want to work the field like this, but when we do work the field in saline areas, we're increasing evaporation. And then also we're getting more water and salts coming up to the top. So I know we like to work it, but if we can, leaving it alone is best. Remember, I said earlier, about two or three or four feet down, we have an impermeable layer. So because the water has two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen, so we have two positives and a negative. So what actually is, is happening in the soil is that gravity cannot pull that, it's actually a soil solution back down because what's happening is the, the positive hydrogen atoms are attaching to anything negative. So your soil is a negative, so your hydrogen is being that double positive, is having that hold on though that, that clay coline, and it's sticking there, it's bound to that clay. So what we need to do is we need to break that so that the water can pass through that impermeable layer. Unfortunately, evaporation has a stronger pull, and that's why we can always pull water up through that waterlogged portion of the soil. We will apply it until we start getting growth back. 